So we're, we're back here. It's the March 13th workday at the Flat Panzer Restoration Project. We're with our good friend Rob. And uh, can you run us through what's going on today? Well, today we, uh, we started on the other side. And what we were doing was uh, removing the return rollers. We had good luck on the other side. We got all four of them off. This side, not so much. We got one off, as you can see. Uh, the issues we're having in these covers have a threaded hole in the middle where the grease nipple usually goes. But what we can do is we put a bolt in and tighten the bolt and it will push it out. But the problem we're having is we're stripping the threads here on these. So I think we're going to have to probably weld something on here that we can then get some uh, force to get these back off again. So for today we're kind of stuck now. These three have kind of defeated us. So we, we uh, decided to move here to the track adjuster assembly. And we're going to try and remove these from the, the main hull. But before we uh, tack the nuts or the bolts, we have to take the cotter pins that are on each one. And that's a heck of a job because you can see the limited space in here to get uh, wrenches or, or, uh, or chisel or anything in there to try and get the cotter pins out. Because until we get them out, you know, we'll never be able to turn the bolts. But that basically, that's what we're doing now. It's slow and it's tedious and it's swear inducing. But otherwise, otherwise we're working on it. We're getting there. Okay, well, we'll catch up with you later, Rob. Thank you very much.
Bob. End of the day now, can you just give us a run through of what you guys did on the chassis for the Flak Panzer and the Hetzer over there? Okay. So today we started on the Flak Panzer and uh, we tried to remove the return rollers. We got most of them off uh, on, the, uh, on the left side. The right side was a lot more difficult. We had problems with stripped uh, bolts. Uh, so we're going to have to maybe do some welding next time to, in an effort to pull off the covers so that we can get to the return rollers and get them off. But we got some of them off. Um, I'm going to clean up the parts and the grease fittings on them and they'll be good. That, I guess, is for another day. Once we got stymied on that, we kind of moved to the back and we returned the two uh, basic truck, uh, track adjuster units, I guess is what they're called. Um, we had to remove the pins out of, the, out of each bolt because they, they have locking pins in them, remove the bolts. Sometimes, some we had to use heat on because they're so rusty, but we got those two off. And that was probably the main uh, work today on, on the Flak Panzer. Uh, then we moved to the Hetzer. We kind of reassembled the Hetzer a bit. We had to put some of the, the hatches back on again, clean out the inside a bit, make it presentable, because uh, they plan to take it to Trenton for, uh, for the people oh, to here. see it. The air show here. Well, is the air show yeah. here? Oh, sorry, pardon me. Pardon me, I thought it was Trenton they were taking it. So that, and that was pretty well the end of the day for that. Uh, we worked in, the, uh, worked in the hatches a bit because they were pretty rusty and pretty stiff. And then today, uh, I brought some of the stuff back that I had taken home in the last few weeks. But one of the hardest things I, could, I had to research was this rain cover, because on every existing example of a Panzer IV, this rain cover is completely disintegrated, missing altogether. There's a few where I had maybe a half, and actually one of these ones that were on this Flak Panzer, I had probably three quarters of one. So I had to kind of guesstimate at the, at the rest of it, uh, fold it one side over to make it a little easier on your finger. And that's as authentic as I can, I can find. I even asked people in England, who have researched the Panzer IV, and nobody really has a good photo or a good example left of what these are like. There's earlier examples that are round, and this definitely wasn't round. But they actually turned out pretty good. That's, hopefully they won't rust off again. And the bumper stops here. Over the years, as the Canadian forces painted, they painted everything gray and, everything, and the rubber and everything got covered. So I was a little concerned about getting the paint back off this again, but when I sandblasted it, I sandblasted the rubber and actually it didn't damage the rubber at all and took the paint off. So I was very happily, happily surprised. But these are the bumps, bumper stops for the, for the uh, suspension. So as the suspension pivots, it's a bit of a stop for it so it doesn't overextend. And there's 10 of those all together. This is just for one side. As I say, I mentioned return rollers. These, these are some of the covers that, that uh, I worked on for the center of them. Had to clean all the old grease out of them and then clean up the old grease fittings. And that'll slide onto the middle and keeps the grease in behind it. The other thing I, I took on, they have fire extinguishers inside the tank and outside. This is the condition of the one that was on the inside. The one on the outside was totally torn off. All that was left is basically, if you look on the fender over there, there's just basically the base left of it. So using this for measurements and some of the parts, I replicated it as best I could. And that will, hold a, that will sit beside the driver like this and hold a fire extinguisher. There's another fire extinguisher the same, and it sits out on the fender. And it's slightly different, slightly different design because this particular fire extinguisher has two prongs and one prong would sit on the outside here and be protected by this cover and the other prong would go inside here and then be protected by this cover. And then of course it gets strapped on and it sits on the fender. So a lot of, bit of guesswork with those and, and a lot of fabrication because the originals are just completely destroyed and could, could never be used. But those things keep me busy. I take a lot of the bolts home, sandblast the bolts, try to reuse all the original parts that we can. So that was my homework for this week. Well, thanks a lot for your time, Rob. Well, thank you. Yeah. See you guys around.